Hey everyone, it's Zinnia here from Octo Studio, and today I wanted to show you how you can make your own pet game on the phone. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to make your own game like this one, where you can take care of your pet, feed it, and play with it. So yeah, let's get started. And shout out to Stickman Animation Videos for suggesting this tutorial. Uh, yeah, if anyone has any tutorial ideas, just put them in the comments. So to get started, you can open up the Octo Studio app and tap Create New Project. And then you can tap choose a sprite and you can choose whatever you want the pet to be in your game. So there's this whole animals and nature category and you can pick absolutely any of the pets that are there. Also, if you want to, you could draw a picture of your pet and then take a photo of that picture and then that could be the pet in your game. So I decided I wanted to do that. So here I am uh, drawing my pet and uh, is this a dog? Is it a bear? I don't know, but I thought it was very cute and I think it's perfect to be the pet in my game. So after I finished drawing my pet, I took a picture of it and then just traced around it to crop it out from the background. Then you can choose whatever you want to be the backdrop in your game. Uh, so you can pick wherever you want your pet to live. And I decided I would pick this grassy backdrop. So we've got our pet on our background. Now let's make our pet do something when we tap on it to pet it. I think I'll have the pet do a little jump. So let me drag out the jump block and try that out. Okay, nice, so that has it jumping. Actually, when I pet it, I think I just want it to do a tiny little jump. So if you want to do that, you could just tap on this number 50 here and you could change it to something smaller. Uh, so I'll just put in five and see how that goes. Yeah, I think that little jump is really cute. And to make the pet do this when we tap on it, you can go to the when to start category and drag out a when tap block and put it on top. And that makes it so that now, when you tap on your pet, it does that little jump. And if you also want it to play a sound when you tap on it, you can go to the words and sounds category and drag out a play sound block. And so now it jumps and plays a sound. So we've got step one where we can tap on our pet to pet it. Now, let me show you step two, making it so that when you shake the phone, it gives your pet a little bite of food. So I'll tap on this button to add a sprite and then choose a food for my pet. I heard that dogs can eat apples, so an apple seems like a safe bet. Is this a dog? We still don't know. And when the player shakes the phone, we want the apple to go over to the pet to feed it. So we can make one sprite go over to another sprite. With this block, go to sprite. Very convenient. And so let's just tap it to test it out. So that will make the apple go over to the pet. And maybe when the apple goes over to the pet, we can have it play a sound. Like we can try having it play this little chomp sound, which I like. And how about after we have the apple go over to the pet, we can have it go back to this corner. So to do that, you can drag out a go to block and just tap on this little location button and choose the position you want it to go back to. Like I'll have it go back to here. And so let's try that all out together. So tap on it, goes over to the sprite, plays the sound, and then it flies back to that corner rather fast. So I'm actually gonna tap on this shoe and make it go a little slower. So let me try that. And that looks good to me. And we want to give food to the pet every time the player shakes the phone. So to do that, you can go to the when to start category and I'll just put a when I shake block on top. And so now when I shake the phone, the apple goes over to the pet. So now we can feed our pet. Lastly, let me show you step three, making some toy or item that the pet can go over and play with. So I'll tap on add a sprite again and just choose something to be a toy for the pet. I think I will, where's the basketball? Yeah, I'll pick the basketball. I will make it a little smaller. Let's hope I don't accidentally shrink the pet. Aha, uh -huh, I did it. Okay, so when we tap on the basketball, we want the pet to go over and play with it. To have it look like the pet is playing with it, you could drag out a jump block. So that looks pretty good to me. We could also have the basketball play a sound as well. And we also want the pet to come over to the basketball when the basketball is clicked. And how can we do that? Well, what you can do is when the basketball is clicked, we could send out a message to the pet to tell it to come over. And we can do that in the control category by dragging out this block, send message. And in Octo Studio, you can have one sprite send out a message and then you can have another sprite do something when it receives that message. So how about I'll send out a message and call it play from the basketball. And then I'll go to the pet sprite and I will say when the message play is received, we'll have it go over there. So to have the pet go over to the basketball, I'll go back to the motion category 
and drag out another go to sprite block and have the pet go over to that. So let me try that out. I tap on the basketball and it sends the message for the pet to go over to it. So that's pretty good. And then after the pet goes over here to play, we want it to go back to this spot. So I can do that by going to the pet and I can drag out another go to block and choose what location I want it to go to and I'll have it go back to here. So that makes it go back. So I'll attach that here and let's test it again. So I'll tap the basketball and the pet goes over to it and then goes back. Maybe I'll have it wait for a second in between so like it gets to play for a second. Nice, I like that. And also I realize right now the basketball just bounces right away when I click on it, even before the pet has gotten over there. So how about I'll go to the basketball and I'll have it send the message play, but then I'll have it wait a second before it plays the sound and jumps. So let's give that a shot. I can click on the basketball and it only bounces when the pet gets to it. So I think that's pretty nice. So that's step three, how you can add something for your pet to play with. In part two, I'll show you how to make your pet have needs you have to take care of, like hunger and things like that. So yes, uh, in the meantime, I hope you have fun making your virtual pet games and I'll see you in the next video.